Alright, this is my Arduino Ethernet connected, um, just a simple LED on, LED off project, which I'm going to be using later on to turn on a motor, which, it, which will turn the lock on my door because I'm trying to do an RF, uh, RFID slash Ethernet controlled um, door lock on my apartment. So, um, what this does is just turns on an LED. There's uh, four LEDs, so it turns on and off four separate LEDs. Now, um, here's the Arduino with the Ethernet shield attached. The Arduino is the one on the bottom, the Ethernet shield is on the top, and then this is just a simple um, proto shield with a LED. Um, bar graph attached attached to the breadboard with some 220 ohm resistors going to pins 4, 5, 6, and 7 of the Arduino Ethernet shield. Um, the Ethernet shield is acting as a web server. So if you type in the URL that I created, which is ADG Arduino Servo, or ADG Arduino Server. D Y N D N S. dot org. Um, it will take you to a web page. It looks like this, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You click LED one. It tells you that it's on, and if you look right here, it's the LED on the far right, which is on, so if I click the LED 2, LED 3, LED 4, they're all on now, as you can see all four of them are on, going from the far left to, um, to the right, and similarly you can turn them off. LEDs 3 and 4 are now off, so there's only uh, LEDs 1 and 2 on. And now I just turned all of them off. Um, I didn't write the code that's running on here. I found it on Instructables and changed my MAC address. Um, right here. The MAC address. You have to look on the back of your Ethernet shield and you'll see a sticker that says um, um, my, a different string of characters. Mine was 90A2DA0078EA and when you put it in your Arduino uh, interface development environment you have to put a 0x, zero 0x, zero 0x zero in front of each um, different element of your MAC address. Also, you have to change your IP address to um, one that you have chosen in your IP, in your router configuration page. Yeah. So, I I chose mine to be 192.168.1.107 and this is set statically. There's a local address and it's a static IP address. So no matter when, no matter what device turns on, it's, this device is always going to have this address. It's not going to connect using um, 192.168.1.105 or .106 it's always going to use .107 that's the main point of that so and then the gateway is usually the same as your router so I didn't have to change that and it stayed the same it stayed 192.168.1.1 an important thing to note though is that when you're entering these in, in the uh, Arduino inter interface development environment you don't use periods, you use commas. So, yeah, I mean, 
that mistake and just wanted to make sure you guys knew. Also, the subnet is going to stay the same for the most part. It's going to stay 255.255.255.0. And that's basically the only thing I changed in this um, source code that I found off on the internet. So I do not take credit for this. Um, it's pretty lengthy. I probably couldn't couldn't have done that on my own. So um, I'll give credit to whoever wrote that on Instructables. I'll probably put a link in the description. But it 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 took it took me about probably three hours to finally get this thing up and running, which is, which is ridiculous, kind of, because, I mean, all I'm doing is turning on an LED. You'd think that that'd be pretty simple, but no. There was a bunch of trial and error and different things like that. So, um, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll uh, see, see you next time.